Hi, this is Chin Nguyen from Finale Inventory. In this demo, we're going to demonstrate the ShipStation integration. For the folks that don't know ShipStation, what ShipStation is, it's a very popular shipping software used by e-commerce sellers. So let's open up Finale so we can kind of see it in the interface. So in this product here, what we're going to use is this wagon. Um, and so this is the red wagon, and we have eight in stock. And what I want to bring your attention to is the proc ID is 10006. So if I go back to uh, ShipStation here, you know, before this demo, I went ahead and created a test account. It's called Test Orders Test 1, and it's for two wagons. And what I want to bring your attention to is see the SKU here? Uh, it says red wagon 1, which is different from um, the finale proc ID 10006. And this is a very common issue when you're selling on multiple channels like eBay and Amazon. You know, your pair of jeans that, that may have a product 10,000 may have a product ID of 1, 2, 3 on eBay, and on Amazon it's XYZ. So it's, it becomes very complex when you're, you have multiple SKUs that correspond to the same product. And Finale has a quick and easy way to resolve these issues uh, on the fly. So it allows you to map 5 or 10 or 20 different SKUs back to the same product ID and, and, and decrease the complexity of, of trying to manage all these, uh, these different SKUs. So let's, let's show you how that's done. So I go out to Finale, where I see my orders is the connections page. And the connections page is where all the integrations are. And I've already set one up called ShipStation. And it's set, to, it's set to sync to automatic mode, which means we're syncing down orders from ShipStation every five minutes and looking for any new orders or ordering orders that have changed um, status. So as you see here, there's a warning. It says one sale with warning. What does that mean? So if I click on here, it's basically saying that I have this order test ID, test one, and the issue is there's no product lookup for that red wagon, which is the product that we, that SKU that we created just now. How you address that is just basically click on that, and you just type in the product that you want to associate this with. So example, so in the future, anytime we see this red wagon one, it's mapped to product 1006. So that's how we address the mapping. So now there's, it's fixed. So if I go back to my connections, and let's just, uh, it's set to automatic, but I'm just going to manually sync it um, so that way it runs faster. Just, let's just give it a moment. So now it's running. And it should be okay now. So it's okay. If I view my status log here, it says that you know, this order was processed okay at this time. All right. So now let's look at the, the sales order. And if you want to click on it, type it in. You'll see basically, you know, we pull down all the information here. Here's the red wagon for two units. Here's the address. You know, here's the order number. So everything is kind of pulled down. When I go back to my view stock, let's just refresh the screen real quick to make sure it's pulling down the latest information. You know, the order is in the awaiting shipment state, correct? Uh, so if we go down to the red wagon, if you see here, see how the quantity is still eight? We have eight on hand, but we only have six available. So if I click on this, you're basically saying that we're reserving two for that test sale. Perfect. All right, so now let's say that now your team processes the order and they ship it. So I'm just going to basically manually ship it and just kind of uh, fake it here. So I'm going to go um, mark to shipped. And, you know, and, and mark to ship is the equivalent to the pertinent shipping label. So I just type in you know some uh, a tracking number here. I hit mark to shipped. So it's moved, it's chain state, it's left your facility. So normally, uh, we pull down the order, again, every five minutes. But I'm just going to manually run it, run it now. And if I view my status log, if I just want to see what happened, you know, it says basically, now it's set to complete. So if I go back to my view stock, and let's refresh that to see what happens. What should happen is because we marked the ship and the, we basically shipped the package which left our facility, uh, the quantity on hand now should be decremented. So let's click on here. And now, here you go. So basically now the quantity on hand is, 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 is six. You know, a couple, so that's, how, that, you know, that's a quick illustration of how our ship station integration works in terms of syncing down orders. Um, you know, some other things that the integration can do is basically you can also use this for reordering, you know, as the available goes down to set thresholds. 
But also in another video, I'll show you what we do when we have, we have an order and we push it back up to the merged marketplaces so that way you don't oversell.